Let's look at how you can add in all of your past purchases, add the property they purchased, and then set a DNA to keep in contact with them on their anniversary of that purchase. First of all, in the client section, in earlier tutorials, you would have learned how to add a client. We're going to look for my record and open that up. Now, first of all, you should have your client added with all of the client contact information. We can see that over on the right. If you then go into the properties area, you'll see a list of all the properties that they own. So for Luke and Natalie, they actually own quite a few properties in the area, but I'm going to add another property that they purchased off us, and we're gonna set an anniversary plan against that. To add a property to them, we'll hit the actions, and we will link a property. Here we'll be able to select create new or new property from the postal address. We'll select add property, it will default to adding in their postal address. We can delete this and we can type in the property that they purchased off us. We can see if you type the address, you'll then get the Google address at the bottom where you can select and it will load in those details. If you do not get a match, you can type into the fields below. In the property type area, we now just need to specify this is a house and we can then hit add property. Now the property record will be created the main thing that we need to add now to set the anniversary plans against them is the last sold price and sold date. So if we enter these in now and we type 650,000 for the price, using the last sold date, always use the calendar option. And let's go back to 2009, we'll say February the 4th. Once you've entered in the price and the date, you can then hit the update general information. Now to set your anniversary plans that come as a default with your account, you'll use the actions, apply DNA, and using the Aaron Shiner standard DNA plans, we will be using number 6.2 or 6.3, depending on whether it's a living purchaser or investor purchaser. For this, we're gonna say that it's an investor purchaser and we can delete historical tasks. We do not need to do all of the tasks that were due straight after they would purchased the property. We then hit the apply DNA, and this is now calculating when the next anniversary call or actions will be based on the sale date. Once the plan is set, you'll be able to go into the tasks and see that we have a reoccurring SMS to be sent to our vendor every year on the 4th of Feb, the next one is 2021, and we also have an email to go to them on the 4th of Feb, 2021. When these are completed, it will automatically book in the next SMS and email for the 4th of Feb, 2022.